Okay, let's pretend I want to convert this binary number into base 16. Well, like I said, all we know so far is that from to convert from base n, we can convert to base 10. And we can convert from base 10 to base m, some other base. So I would have to first convert this to base 10, and then convert that base 10 value to base 16, which I could do. And I would do that simply by, by saying, well, if we number these off, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're going to have 1 times 2 to the 7 plus 0 times 2 to the 6 plus 1 times 2 to the 5 plus 1 times 2 to the 4 plus 0 times 2 to the 3 plus 0 times 2 to the 2 plus 0 times 2 to the 1 plus 1 times 2 to the 0. And then I could get my calculator out and work that out. Um, luckily, I have a programming calculator here, so I'm going to jump into binary mode. I'm going to clear this, and I'm going to say 10110001. Zero, one, one, zero, 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 one. And then I'm going to convert that to binary. Oh, sorry, to decimal. So we get 177. So that's 177. So then I can go through my process, and I can say 177 divided by 16. That's going to give me 11 remainder 1, and then I can take 11 divided by 16 is going to give me 0 remainder 11, but remember this is hexadecimal, so I can kind of just jump over here to my chart and see 11 is B. So therefore, this in base 16 is going to be B1 in base 16. And let's just double check with our calculator. Hexadecimal, B1. That was time consuming. And it's specifically time consuming in terms of situations when you have really long binary numbers. <coughs> so the question is, well, why did six, why is 16 so why is base 16 such a popular numerical representation? Well, that's because notice how base base 16 can represent 0 to 15 in one spot, and base 2 can represent 0 to 15 using four locations. It turns out what you can do as a shortcut is let's just before we do this let's take this and let's take one zero one one zero 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 one in base two as a shortcut what you do is starting from the right hand side break up the binary into groups of four and then once you have those groups of four convert each of those groups of four into hexadecimal so starting from the left here one zero one one we see is eleven so that means we put a B, 0, 0, 0, 1 is a 1, and then my conversion is done. And that's a shortcut for converting from base 2 to base 16. Simply by taking, up, taking the number and breaking it up into, I believe they're called nibbles. Bits, four bits are called nibbles. <coughs> let's, let's just make up another example here for ourselves. But what I'm going to do deliberately this time is I'm going to take my number, 1, 1, Zero zero one zero one 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 one, and let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. So in this case, base two, and what I've done deliberately here is I've picked so that I I don't have a number of bits that's divisible by four. Not a big problem. What I do again is I start from the right hand side and I group together in groups of four. And when I get to the, the end, if I'm missing one, I just add it in. So I just put a zero there. That zero has no significance as far as the value of this number. So 0, 1, 1, 0, if I look at my chart, is 6. So this is going to be 6. 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1 is going to be 5. 1, 1, 1, 1 is F. So that means if I want to convert this to base 16, is 6, 5, F. And now let's pop up our calculator and let's just do a quick check here. Calculator. So we have 1100101111111. One, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 one. I believe that's right. One, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 one. And that's in decimal and we convert. Oh, sorry, we want to make that binary. Let's try that again, shall we? So in binary, make sure your mode's set properly. One one zero zero 
one zero one 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 one. So there we go. So in binary, we convert that to hexadecimal, and we see it's six five f. That's a really useful shortcut that I think it's definitely worthwhile understanding. We'll have one more video after this that shows how to go from hexadecimal to base two.